Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to open a report and show specific data in Microsoft Access. You can do it easily with a form, but you can't easily do it with a report. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. Today's question comes from Kara in Jupiter, Florida, one of my Platinum members. Kara says, I have created a customer report. However, when I go to print it out, I get all of my customers. How do I show just a single specific customer? Well, Kara, it's not your fault. This is actually specifically difficult to do in Microsoft Access. Microsoft gave us a way with the command button wizards to open a form and show a specific record, but you can't do it with a report. So in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can open a report and show specific data. Now, first up, prerequisite, go watch my video on how to open a form and show a specific record. That's what I just talked about a second ago. Go watch this, then come back. While you're at it, I want you to also watch these other videos. The value from a form video that shows you how to get a value from an open form that's going to be required for this. Okay, watch the blank template video it's where I build my blank tech help template. Okay, and optionally, watch my intro to VBA video. Okay, the second technique I'm going to show you requires one line of VBA code. You just got to know where to put it. It's the best way to do it. The first way I'm going to show you requires these other two things. Okay, and it's it'll work. You don't need any programming for this. But if you know a little tiny bit of VBA, you'll see how easy it is. All right. And of course, I always recommend watch my Access Level 1 class. Four hours long, absolutely free. Go watch all this stuff first. Okay? Okay. Okay, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free download off my website. You can go grab yourself a copy if you want to. And if you watched all those other videos, you know that already. Okay, so in here, I've got a customer list. Now, like I said, Microsoft gives us a way to open a form and show a specific record, right? If I click on Will Riker here, I can click on this button and it opens up Will Riker's form. And that is something, if we go into design view, is real easy to do, right? Grab a button, drop it down here, go to form operations, open form, and then you pick the form you wanna open, and then you find specific data to display, okay? But, let me cancel this, but, there's no option to do that with reports. Watch. Report operation. Let's go to preview report. Pick one. And that's it. They don't give you an option for that. So we have to know how to do this ourselves the hard way. Okay. Now, I don't have a customer report handy. So let's make one real quick. I've got my blank report that I made in my template video, right? I'm going to copy and paste that. We're going to call this my customer R. We'll use it to show one customer. Right click, design view. All right. Now, in here, we don't need a lot of this stuff. We don't need the report header. We don't need the page header. We don't need the footers. Okay. I'm going to click here and I'm going to bind this to a record source. Let's bind it to the customer table. Okay. And let's put some controls in here. Now, a lot of people ask me, they say, can't you just build forms and have those be printed out? Yeah, you can, but forms are really designed for working with on the screen. As I emphasize in my Access Beginner 1 class, you want to use forms on the screen. Reports are for printing out. But if you've got a form that you particularly like, like my customer form, there's no reason why you can't borrow the controls out of here. Okay, go to Design View and just copy what you want. Right? If you want all this stuff, just draw a box that touches all this stuff like that. Right? Copy. Switch over here to your report. I'm going to get rid of this label and just paste them in. All right? There's no reason you can't do that. You can just take all the controls. And this way you can format this to look like a nice report. Okay. I'm going to save this and close it. And let's open it up now. I'm going to right click on it and go to uh, print preview. Print preview is the best way to look at your report. It gives you a nice, you know, realistic version of what it's going to look like when you print it or create a PDF out of it. Okay, looks pretty good. That's my customer R. But as you can see now, I'm seeing every one of them. What if I wanna see just a specific customer? 
Well, again, there's no way to do that with the wizard. You have to you have to know how to tell this report. Just show me, you know, record two, record three, whichever one you want. Now, there's two ways to do it, like I mentioned earlier. The first way doesn't require any programming, but you have to know how to get a value from a form. So if we have, let's say, this form open, I need to know how to get that value right there. And if you watched my value from a form video, which I told you to, you'll know it's forms, customer F, and then customer ID. Okay, so we can make a query that shows just this record, right? So let me close this. Let's make a query, create, query design, bring in customer T, we can close that. All right, I'm gonna bring in the star and then bring in customer ID and set the criteria equal to forms, uh, customer F, customer ID, just like that. All right, and so we don't have duplicates. I'm gonna turn off that show box. That way we don't see two of those. All right, let's save this as the customer Q, customer Q. And if I close that, and let's say open up a customer, let's go to uh, this one. If I open up the customer Q now, Look at that, it shows just Deanna, okay? You have to have this form open though. If you open up the query without that, it's gonna ask you for that value. Anytime you see enter parameter value, that means Access doesn't know what you're talking about. Either it, it's a form field that it can't find or usually you spelled something wrong. I got a whole video on enter parameter value. I'll put a link down below, go watch that too. All right, cancel that. But now I have a query that I can use to show just one customer. So. All I have to do is make this query the record source for that customer report, right? So go back to your customer report, right click, design view, go to the reports properties right there, change the record source to customer queue. All right, save it, close it. And now if I open up the customer report in print preview mode, I see just me. See that? Or if I go over here and open it, print preview, I'll see just Deanna. See how easy that is? You have to make a query that gets that value, shows only that record. Then you use that query as the, uh, the record source for that report. And now if you want to make a button for it, you can. All right, we'll use the wizard. Drop a button down here. Report operations, preview report customer R. We don't have to worry about uh, showing specific data because the query takes care of it for us. All right? Make that say print. Print button. All right? And there's my little print button right down there. Save it. Close it. Go to the customer list. Open up Jean-Luc. And then hit the print button. And there's Jean-Luc. See that? Okay? It's a report that gets its value from a query that gets its value from the open form in a nutshell. Okay. All right. Everybody with me. Okay. Now I promised there was an easier way if you know one line of VBA. So for those of you who've watched the intro to VBA class and want to learn a teeny tiny bit of VBA, here's how you do it with a button with one line of code without the need for that extra query or that report that's based on that query. Okay. You still have to have the report. Obviously you got to have something to print. But first a quick word from our sponsor that sponsors me. If you want to learn more about this kind of stuff, Access Expert Level 5, I cover printing a letter report. We do something similar. We make a actual letter in a form, and then we go to print it like that. And it uses the same kind of techniques. All right, that's Access Expert Level 5. I cover lots more stuff in this class, too. It's over an hour long. Okay, advertisement's over. So let's basically undo everything we just did. I'm going to get rid of that print. All right, we'll leave room down here because we'll still put something there. And I'm going to get rid of that customer queue. Goodbye. Delete it. See ya. And in the customer report, I'm going to design it. And I'm going to change the record source back to customer T. All right. There we go. So now if I open it up again, you can see everybody's back. All right. The, the band's back together again. We got all the records in here. So how do I print just a specific record now? Well, let's make a button. Design view. Grab a button, drop it down here. No wizard does this though, so cancel. This will be my print button. 
Okay, slide you over here with your, your buddies. All right, open up the properties. Let's give it a good name. Print button. Whoops. Print button. There we go. Okay, right click, build event, or go to events, and then use the on click event, right? Dot, dot, dot. That'll open up your code builder. Okay, here's my VBA window. One line of code. And you can see there that I've got some other buttons that I made. These are open form commands. Do command, open form, what's the form name, a few parameters we don't need to worry about, and then a where condition. See that? It opens this form to this specific record where the customer ID equals the current customer ID on the current form. Oh, guess what? We can do the same thing. Do command dot open report. What's the report name? Customer R. How do you want to view it? We're going to go to AC view preview. That's print preview. Comma. We don't need a filter name. What we want is the where condition. The where condition is customer ID equals and customer ID. That little string concatenation there that says take the current customer ID who's ever on the form, customer seven. All right. Put a seven in there and tack it on the end of that string. So what gets sent to the open report command is customer ID equals seven. See so how that works? All right. Save it. Close it, close it, close it, open it back up again. Let's go to somebody, let's go to Jean-Luc. Where is he? There he is. Print. Boom. Jean-Luc. See that? See how cool that is? Go back to the customer list. Go to Malcolm Reynolds. Print. There you are. See? See how easy that is with just one line of VBA code? That's why I tell people, learn VBA. It's not that hard. With just a dozen or so commands under your belt, you can do all kinds of crazy cool things. You don't have to load up your database with tons of unnecessary queries, right? Learn a little bit of VBA, learn a little bit of SQL, and you'll take your access databases to the next level. And I've got classes for all that stuff. i got developer classes, SQL classes, whatever you need. Come to my website. You'll find it there. If you want to learn more, in the extended cut for members, I will show you how to take a continuous form, like the customer list, apply a filter to it, however you want to filter it. Right, you right click, you go equals Florida or customer sense after this date or the last name starts with R, whatever filters you want to apply. And then whatever filters on that form will be how the report prints, okay? Okay, here I am in my customer list. This is a continuous form. Let's say I filter it to show just people from Florida. Right click equals Florida, okay? Now when I go to print it, you can see only the people from Florida show up in the report, right? Turn the filter off. Maybe I want to see people whose last names start with R. Right click. Begins with R. See that? Print. And now I get those people. And you can apply multiple filters if you want to. We're going to basically use the filter property of the form to determine what gets printed when you print the report. And that is all covered in today's extended cut video for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. Gold members can download these databases. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout-out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can.
Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website. You can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.